All right, uh, let's get back into this ridiculous Dark Rising game. That's all I have to say about this. I'm still in Full of Men City. That's right. Oh, right. I said I'd do some off-screen grinding. Well, uh, let me go ahead and do that. So, yeah. There we go. That's a bit better. So now let's go ahead and heal up. And, uh, I'll explain some things that happened while I was grinding. And we'll get back and try to beat that guy. Now, I only grinded Dragonair a bit. I did get my larvae to level 30, which I hope is going to keep it obeying me. But it learned some new moves. Flame Wheel and Zen Headbutt, so that should, uh, give it some decent stuff. Now, I stopped grinding, um, my uh, Chaozu here at level 26, and that's because I wanted it to evolve on screen. And, um, if you do not know, Lantern, uh, well, Chit, uh, Chin Chow, I was always in the Lantern at level 27, so I had to stop grinding this guy at level 26, but I did learn Spark. Uh, my Dragonair did grow to level 33, I grinded it a little bit, but, um, yeah, so, what was I gonna say? It did try to learn Icy Wind, but I decided not to teach it because Icy Wind is a pretty weak move, and I like all of my current moves a bit better. Anyway, yeah, let's go and, uh, yeah, go into this cave once again and hope that I can defeat, uh, that trainer now. Um, uh, maybe evolve Chaozu on the way. Actually, what I want to do, before I do that even, is make sure I have enough money, or items. No, I, see, I'm out of potions, I think, so let's go ahead, uh, back to the Mars and, uh, try to buy some more potions, which will probably become necessary against, uh, that pretty ridiculously strong trainer. Um, actually, wait, no, I can only buy regular potions. I still can't buy supers. Oh, that's annoying. Well, let's try to buy, I don't know, 15. We'll have to do. Um, how many Pokeballs do I have left? I have none. Let's buy those as well, just in case I want to catch something. Um, actually, let's buy some more. I know these will be useless pretty soon, but it doesn't hurt, I guess. There's also a Firestone here. You know what? It wouldn't hurt just to buy one, just in case, you know, I get a Pokemon that evolves through Firestone. Um, so, yeah, I, I guess... That's not Volcarona, right? I don't think Volcarona does that. Volcarona is a level up, at level 59. Oh my god, it's gonna take a while to level that up. Alright, to evolve that, sorry. Uh, better get used to this Larvae Pokemon. Either way, I don't know. I probably won't get another Fire-type, but just in case, you know. Just in case. Alright, well here we go, back to the water cavern with its ridiculously high... You know what? I can try to catch one of these. I, c I could. I could try to catch one of these. Oh look, I didn't quite kill it. Ha! Yeah, Volt Absorb, stupid Tynamo. Let's see what makes this so corrupted anyway. Uh, now Pokeball should do the trick, right? Yeah! Finally got one of these corrupted Tynamos. I'm gonna name it Corruption, in fact. Corrup... Corruption. Because that's apparently what's going on in this cave. Apparently, these Tynamos are being all corrupted and stuff. It's a jolly-natured one, though. It has Levitate still. It doesn't actually look that odd. I don't really know its base stats, so I can't really comment on if its stats are different. I'm probably not going to use the corrupted Tynamo, but we'll keep it in the team because I don't feel like going back for now. Anyway, you might as well... You know, I did get Spark, so that should make clearing out this place a little bit easier. I only have 20 PP, though, for it, but, uh... Let's see if I can evolve Chaozu on the way. Wouldn't hurt. And here's a Breezel. The encounter right here, if you recall, is really high, which made it a pretty nice place for grinding. It only took, you know... I, I, I kept the... I moved the game speed up to, like, 400%, and, um... Yeah, it actually didn't take that long. It took about 30, 40 minutes. Whatever. Here's another chance. I'm just going to run away from this. We might have Volt Absorb. And that would just make it annoying. Uh, is this the one? No, I don't think this is the one I want to go in. I don't think I want to go in this one. Yeah, that's the way. Alright, here's a Corp Fish. I don't know if I'm going to get enough experience to evolve it on the way, but we'll see. I should have grinded uh, Chaozu a little bit more, actually, off screen. To get it, like, really close to level 27, but I didn't think about it, because I'm... I'm dumb sometimes. Anyway, that should give it some decent EXP, and it doesn't even kill, though. 
Well, here's Absorb, which should also not really do that much. Yeah, level 26. Pretty nice. Uh, I guess I'll just finish off Spark. I don't know if any other moves would kill. There, it's a dead frillish now. Well, 30, 306 now. Water Cavern! Oh, I forgot this item up here. Apparently it's a revive. That would have been useful. Alright, another Corp Fish. I don't think this thing gives that much EXP, but... I guess it every little bit helps. If we want to evolve Chiaotzu here. You know, it's about halfway, so... It's not going that slow. I mean, that's a shallow, so that thing is part ground, right? Does it? Is it immune to water? No, it's not, apparently. Okay. Oh, wait, no, it's just pure water. I guess it doesn't get the ground type until it evolves. Alright, well then, I guess I'm sparking it. Die, Shellos! More EXB. Alright, there's a Tentacool, which also is not worth any EXB, but... You know? Let, let's, oh, damn it! I forgot, this thing has a ton of special defense. Ah, let's see if... There we go, boosted water gun works. To finish it off. Carvana! That should give decent EXP, right? Although Spark might be a contact move. I don't know. We'll find out. Yeah, it is. Oh well, I do have potions. I will heal up before, uh... Yeah, before that. And hopefully this thing tries to use an electric move on me. That would be nice. And apparently, Volt Absorb does not cancel... Uh, Thunder Wave. Which is, uh, really annoying, actually. Oh well. I think I did know that too, but at least in Gen 3 that didn't work. Oh well. Let's go ahead and use a potion as well. Oh, I had Paralyze Heal as well. I could have just used that. Oh well. Getting close to that trainer that killed us last time. Still not entirely sure that I am strong enough to beat him yet, but we'll give it our best shot. And this Corpfish should be enough to evolve Chiaotzu, so. That'll help, at least. Yeah! And here we go, Lantern. The Urn, hopefully. Hooray! We did it! We did it, YouTube. We, we did it, guys. Alright, here we go. And another encounter. Who would have thought? Another, a Poliwag. Well, I don't want to actually fight you anymore. I want to conserve my Spark PP. Alright. Do not come any closer, human. That's right, this guy appears to be something not of this world, and he has a Bastiodon, but with my Evolve Chiaotzu and in the rain, maybe Water Gun can do decent damage. There we go, a crit. I'll take that. I will take that to the bank. And Lantern has pretty good special defense, so that Ancient Power not going to be doing super much, although that will that Sandstorm is going to be a double whammy here, actually, because not only does... It, not having the rain, weakened water gun, but uh, there's still a rock type boost, or special defense boost in the sandstorm. Actually, I actually don't know if that was Gen 3. That might have been actually an addition for Gen 4, so I might be completely wrong about that. Um, regardless, Rampardos is a glass cannon, and I'm hoping I can outspeed it here. I'm probably going to... He's going to kill Chiaotzu. Oh no, it's just going to go for an Iron Head. What an idiot. Could have went for, like, probably a ground move, which would have killed me, or even a rock move would have hurt. Iron Head, I'll, I'll take that. If that's all, you, that's the best you can do. You're just gonna stealth rock. All right, bro. I, I, I feel ya. I feel ya. Um. All right. So water gun. Looks like this Rampardos. Someone warned me that this guy had a Rampardos in the last video, after the Bastiodon. Um. And I was a little bit more worried about it, but apparently the best it has is that. Oh, there you go. There's Ancient Power, which is a, also, it's physical in this, so... Alright, so I finally did kill that, but I think my blue eyes should be able to just wrap this up. Just use Water Pulse, man. Kill it. Yeah! I wonder if these are the two fossil Pokémon I have a choice from. Sorry if I did anything to you. Alright. I wonder if the Bastiodon... That probably is foreshadowing, right? Has to be. So I have a choice between a Bastiodon fossil and a Rampardos. I'm kind of tempted to take Rampardos if I can figure out which one that is. I don't actually remember the name of the fossils in those games, but the cover fossil, I believe, is the dome? No, the plume. plume. Oh, God. Oh. I'm gonna look this up. 
if this if this complies to normal Pokemon Plume Fossil, I think that's would be the one. Yeah, here we go. The cover and Plume Fossils. Plume cover fossil is. Uh, oh God, just tell me. Archeops apparently. Wait. Oh. Where's this? I just want the gosh darn information. What do these turn into? Oh, Turtoga and Archin. Okay. So I have a different choice here. I used Turtoga in a playthrough already. I've never used Archin, and I don't think its negative ability is in Gen 3, so... Uh, which one? Plume Fossil. Alright, let's go with the Plume Fossil. Let's do it. I was completely wrong about Bastiodon and the other thing. You know what? Whatever. I'm fine with that. What is this? Oh, cool, an antidote. I'll take it. And we're finally out of Mount Moon, I mean, uh, Water Caverns. Um, and another person whose name is question mark, question mark, question mark, is going to contact me. I'm not a thug in a cave, though. You're one of those guys! Let's go! Okay. And it's, uh, silver from Gold and Silver, or something. I don't know. He has a Ferris Seed. I have an out to that. And, uh, this guy's back down to level 24s. So, uh, once again, nice game design. You threw me up against two Pokemon I had to grind for that in their 30s, and now this trainer is going to have, like, level 20s again. Well done, well done. Alright, we're going to Flame Wheel. Even though it's reduced in the rain, it is X4 effective against Ferrisseed, and it still doesn't kill. And he has Rollout. Ow, that hurts. But then again, Flame Body putting in work, although the Leech Seed is going to be annoying. I'm hoping that I can just finish it off now. Um, and that would be convenient. Yeah? Yeah. Dead fair seed, hopefully. And it has rough skin, which I guess is close enough to Iron Barb's actual ability. Um, so I do need to switch out, because I do not want, uh, to keep those leech seeds on me. Unfortunately, I probably want to go right back into my larva. Uh, let's go ahead and potion it up a bit. I don't want it to, like, die to whatever. Um, alright, let's see if it'll quick attack again on Larvae and maybe get a burn on itself. Or it'll predict my switch completely and air lace. Okay! Why not? Alright, Blue Eyes. I've, a. Uh... Oh, right, this thing might have a nice move. Apparently not, though. Ha! How dare you not carry a nice move, you fool! Why does your Ice-type Pokémon not have a nice move? Because you'd be using it, I would hope. Oh well. Alright, so here comes Dieno. Okay, this is, uh, the dragon. Um, and I should be able to outspeed it with a dragon air, right? Yeah! Take that super effective! And there we go, there's a level 30. So this guy just has a huge range in his levels, I... I guess. Okay, so, uh, Chouncey, you can go back out there against the Zorara. Um, and spark it, maybe, I don't know. There we go! There's the PRZ! And it's raining, so I think Water Gun is a bit stronger than, uh, Spark. Because of the rain boost. That should be a dead Zuara. And now Solosis, which is a, uh, Psychic. That's right. Let's go for the Water Guns and maybe kill it. Oh, it has Recover. Oh, no, you're not gonna spam Recover, are you? If you do, I swear, I swear to God, that's gonna be annoying. Hey! Well, thanks for the shockwave. Apparently somebody, some AI somewhere, doesn't know about Volt Absorb. Um, let's go for a Supersonic, maybe. Uh, try to get the confusion off, otherwise it's gonna just spam Recover and it's gonna be annoying. Even though Recover only has, like, 5 base PP, I think. I don't know. Uh, it probably has a low base PP. Most healing moves do. Regardless, we're going to hopefully kill the Solosis with Water Gun. Yeah, that'd be cool. And, of course, it's just gonna snap out of its confusion. Because that's, that's how it rolls. And it has leftovers. We only had a Pokemon with Thief. Wait, I do have the Thief TM, don't I? Man, if only I knew this guy was gonna be carrying leftovers on two of his Pokemon. I would have tried I would have really tried to uh, teach Thief a little more than I did. Can Supersonic finally hit, please? That would be uh, real great, you know, being able to hit. There we go. And maybe, you know, keep the confusion on for more than one turn and maybe get some confusion hits or not. Whatever floats your boat, game. I'm just gonna water gun now. Set it up for Dragon Air, Dragon Air to beat if. There we go. Now I can just kill it with Chatsu, hopefully. Hopefully. There we go. Killing range indeed. And Chatsu is now level 28 as we defeated the trainer. 
you're okay. Oh wait, not even you're okay. You okay for a noob in all caps. Hey, if you see a girl with blue hair, tell her KO said hello. Not just said hello, said hello! Will you? We'll see each other again, Zeal, okay. Are these guys ghosts? God, I hope not. That would bring this game to an all-new low. Alright, let's go ahead and heal, and then I guess get on our way. Better give me my Pokémon. Let's uh, deposit the Tynamo. Not really interested in using it anymore, so... Uh, it'll go in this box. Oh wow, they actually gave it a front sprite that is pretty weird looking. Alright! Do any of these people have anything interesting to say? Past the Dread Swamp is Atlantic City. Oh boy, can I gamble there? Like in the real Atlantic City? Apparently it got flooded. Wait, just like in real life. I wonder if that's like a reference to the recent floods of Atlantic City, New Jersey. Um, probably not, but you never know. Um, if you guys don't know what Atlantic City is, because maybe you don't live in the United States. Yeah, Atlantic City is kind of like the Las Vegas of the East Coast. It was a place where gambling was legal for, uh, a bit, you know, obviously a bit longer than in real life. And here we go. This should be the Mega Punch and Mega Kick. No, Drain Punch? Yes, I would like Drain Punch. That's even better. And for some reason, my Larvae can Drain Punch. That sounds like a beautiful relationship right there. I will get rid of Ember for some draining punches. Yes, please. I don't know how my larvae punches anything, but I I'll take it. And okay, you still have the useless, relatively useless Mega Kick, which my larvae can also learn. I, you know, probably the Pokemon that it got hacked from can use it, and that's why. And Yanma's a pretty neat Pokemon. I would definitely be down for using Yan Mega, but I kind of want to stick with three members on my team. There's a bitch enough to grind these guys, so yeah. Mate, stick with three members for now and say goodbye to Yan. I'm trying to use the ES EXP if I ever wake up. Of course, I get the five turn sleep. Try to predict my wake up, but yeah, you're faster, you dumb Yan Mega. Or Yanma. There we go. I'll take that to the bank any day. Anyway. Um, uh, what now? I guess there's a hiker? Are you gonna fight me? No. Oh, yes, you are. Okay. Why not? Uh, hiker Tonka. That's a bit odd of a name, but... Alright. You have a Geodude. I'm going to water gun it, because that will be a dead Geodude. Fairly certain. Yep, yep, yep. And now I see that you like Mudkips. You know what? I'm gonna stay in. Mudkip is actually pure water. It's not ground type yet, so I can spark it to death. Goodbye, Mudkips. I do not like Mudkips. A Geodude and Mudkips. What a weird party. Alright, TM5 Roar. You know, with all the changes they made to this game, you think they could possibly change the Roar TM? It's completely useless. In the at least in the uh, regular game, I mean it has some competitive uses. But not even in, in Gen 3. I mean, okay, maybe it had like maybe one or two Pokemon you were sticking on, but either way, uh, pretty useless in the actual game. Uh, use impaired, I would say. Um, it's nice to get rid of wild Pokemon that way. And here comes a Ducklet, which really does not like being hit by Sparks. So let's go ahead and do it. Even though the XP was not worth. Okay, there's a cave there. Do I have to go in that cave yet, or...? Oh, good god, what are you? Must eliminate all... What is this, Eon? Okay, who the hell is Eon, and... Why is he attacking me? Maybe I should've went into that cave, and why is he Falconer? Oh, uh, well. Okay, well, he has a level 25 Joltik. Okay. Blue eyes, white dragon, attack! Oh no, a signal beam. Um... No, I should be able to handle this with just Dragon Pulse, right? Oh no, I can't escape now! I'm just gonna swift you then. Here comes a Jolteon, which I will stay in with. I... At least Blue Eyes does uh, resist electricity. You know what else? Lantern eats electricity, which I have to remember that as well. Again, I guess there's no guarantees that Jolteon actually has an electric move, but let's go ahead and Shatsu and see. No, it's gonna Shadow Ball me, though. 
Come on, use the electric move. Come on, do it. Oh, wait, why did I use spark? I'm dumb. Well, at least I missed, thank God. And he's just going to dig, so... One thing he does have is dig, which is super effective, so... Yeah, going back out in my blue eyes now. Here comes a shadow ball, which is going to get the defense drop. Special defense drop, naturally. Although, no, that's not a problem at all. This is Gen 3, so Shadow Ball um, is a physical move, of all things. I'm gonna keep going for this Dragon Pulse thing and then get crit by a dig. Whatever. The Jolteon is dead. And here comes an Elekid, which I assume actually has an electric move. And maybe he'll be dumb enough to use it on Shoutsu. Come on, be dumb enough. Do it. Oh no, that's not an electric move! You're supposed to use Thunderbolt and heal me! Jerk. Not use Brick Break, are you kidding? Stop. Stop, you are totally ruining my strats of abuse it, abusing the AI. Come on, man. Just cut it out. A jerk face. And let me guess, he's gonna predict my switch in a larvae and use a super effective move. Or just not use Brick Break, which could have burned him. Naturally, naturally. Uh, well, you know what? I'm gonna drain punch you. Screw you. Yeah, how do you like my new move? Okay, so you don't like it that much, except you paralyze me. Yay, I should have used a move that doesn't actually do that. Alright, well, here's an Ampharos. Uh, I need to heal one of my stronger Pokemon, because I'm not sure if this guy can do it. Oh god, and it has a Hyper Beam. Well then, there goes Larvae, that's for sure. So you probably should be healing... whatever. See if I can paralyze it. There, or pour... that. Confuse it, that's what I meant to say. Level 31 Ampharos. Dear God. Why do you have that? Oh, damn it, no, I want to heal Blue Eyes. There we go. Come on, hurt yourself. You won't do it. Yes, you will! Oh, yeah! I don't really have anything good to hit... Uh, why did I just use that on Chaozu? Your Chaozu? Well, at least he trying to use that weak move on me. Uh, I guess I'll go for the boosted water guns that are doing nothing. Okay, then. I see your game. I'm gonna use Flail, actually. That's physical, and I do have a low amount of HP, so... Oh, well, I guess it still doesn't do much, still. Come on, Supersonic! Come on, Supersonic, you can do it. Yeah, we go! That's how we confuse ourselves in Ampharos. And Flail it, maybe? Now that I'm even weaker? Come on, I just need to get a little bit weaker, and then Flay will be doing decent damage. And it's still not doing decent damage. I think I am forgetting how weak my uh, Chaozu's attack is, not to mention... Uh... Oh god, there's a Hyper Beam, which is actually fine. You'll kill Chaozu, I'll just go out into Blue Eyes and finish this, and then I'll go back to the Pokemon Center and heal. You've been outplayed, sir! I think that was his last Pokemon. If it's not, I, I think I've been outplayed. Ah, oh, there we go. Aha! What's going on? Where are you? I have no idea, Faulkner, or Eon, or whatever your name is. It was under a spell. You see, there's a monster who can control minds of people willingly. I'm still trying to figure out this whole thing. Okay. Apparently he's a gym leader. So that means I get a badge. Wait. Come on. No, give me my badge. Can I have my badge now? I beat you, right? Oh, apparently he's not going to give me my badge. What a dick, man. I beat him fair and square. Okay, maybe he was under the effects of an evil mind control, but I still beat up his Pokemon. And he wasn't even playing that badly. He apparently, like, knew exactly when I was switching and stuff, so... He probably, you know, being under the effects of that mind control gave him psychic powers, in my defense. But whatever. Be a jerk. I should have gotten a badge. Who says it has to actually be in a gym? I beat the gym leader. I deserve a badge, darn it. Oh, well. Alright, so, yeah, I need to heal up my team after that. And you know what? I guess let's explore the side cave. I don't have a whole lot of time left to really progress, and I hope that's not the progression route. Maybe something exciting's in there, and here's a Pharisee, at least. Could catch one of these, but I'm not going to. And another Shroomish. Alright. Run away! God, the encounter rate, though. They put, like, 
grass everywhere in this. To make matters worse, like, it's not like just patches like in a real Pokemon game. The grass is literally everywhere. Apparently these are Atlantic sewers. You know what? Maybe maybe this is progression. I don't know. What's this way? Towards Eon guarding. Oh, look! It's Atlantic City. Oh, I could have just gone forward, couldn't I? Hey, where's... Okay, so I can just have a Pokemon Center. Alright. That's, that's the seal. I think I wasn't even damaged, but there. There's some guns in Atlantic Path. I wonder what they're doing. I don't know. I don't know, dude. They say that ash somewhere in... Oh, God, no. Stop. No, there's no ash. I'm still denying that there's an ash catchum here. Because that would just be dumb. Please. Just for my sanity. No. Just no. Whatever. Here's a low tad. I don't even care about it, but... You know what? No. I even though I could level up. Let's see what's so big a deal about these sewers. I uh, do. I have a Growlithe. No, I don't, and I don't want a Vulpix either. All right. Hi. Atlantic City sewers are the closest, cleanest in the region. No muck. Well, that's good. Oh, this is just one of those underground paths. Uh, for some reason, they call it a sewer. What's what's the point of a clean sewer? Oh God. I thought I told everyone upstairs I'll be done in a minute. Who are you and why are you down here? My name is Max. I'm from the Ho- Oh, God. It's another anime character! No! God, no- Oh. Oh, okay. Apparently evil organizations hurt their mom. Okay. Why not? Oh, oh God. That means that- Oh, no. Her sister's gonna be here, too. Oh, no! Why does he- Oh, this- This hack. You sound like you're on an exciting adventure, something like a movie. I guess. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, all right. Why? It's just why? And he has level 37. Leafeon. So, I don't think I was supposed to do this yet, right? Whatever. Gotta try. Uh, flame wheel, go! And pocket mud tactics, I guess. Come on, I need a burn or a nose pass. Okay, well, okay, this thing's only level 32. And I got a burn on it, so... Yeah, there's that. Chaozu, go out there and maybe hit it with water or something. Or he can full heal. Why not? I guess it doesn't really matter. Water guns should still kill eventually, and you can stealth rock, I guess. It's fine. It's fine, man. Just do it. There, now Chaozu is level 29. I'm trying to learn Scald. Oh, yes, I want to learn Scald. 80 base power and can burn. Oh, uh, wait. Wicked's fire type attacks while the user is in battle. Oh, it doesn't burn? Wait, that makes no sense. Why is that what Scald does? Please let me... Please, just let that be a uh, error in... Um, because Scald is probably replacing Water Sport, right? So, they just didn't change the description. God, I hope so. If I if I just taught... Or, you know, not Water Sport. What is the one? I think it is Water Sprout or Water Sport. The one that weakens fire moves. If that's what that, would, if that's what that is, I, I am very disappointed. And I'm also disappointed by that crit. Although, another burn. Definitely is okay. Alright, so Blue Eyes White Dragon. You're gonna have to carry me through this Leafeon, I think. Um, it is burned, so... You know, actually, wait, Leaf Blade is uh, special in this. They don't have the special physical split here. And, uh, at least that'll uh, lower the power of X Scizor. So, there we go. Dead Leafeon, too. And here comes a Dwebble. Alright. I can Water Pulse this. Yeah! Two at KO! And it almost killed me, but... Okay, he has a Super Potion. I kinda don't, don't know why he did that, because it's two at KO. Just kinda wasted your turn there, but, um, fine by me. I wasted your potion, actually. I spoke him on as a route. All right, let's do it. Let's go, Chaozu. Let's let's hope that you can take down a level 40 route. Oh, why is it level 40? Oh God. Thank you for being a dumbass. Thank you very much. All right, there's Scald. Okay, so it does have that animation, but it does look like it's doing damage. So, and it probably can burn too if they hacked it in right. Okay. There you go, screw you, Ralts. You might be level 40, but you have really low base stats. And that was your weakness. I wouldn't change a chance against your sister. Alright. 
hidden items that trainer drop from time to time. Okay, what does your report say? It's a note, so something about okay, apparently just notes about evil organizations. I don't care, actually. Stop. Just, just wait, why can't I go any further? There's clearly still path that way, but okay. I guess this place doesn't go anywhere, and I'm trying to find items. I don't know where they're supposed to be. Uh, screw you, items I can never find. Whatever, screw it. I don't care anymore. I just beat that kid, and um, yeah, you can start to see the level creep of this hack, you know. I, maybe I'm gonna have to grind again before this gym leader, I don't know. Can I buy super potions now? That'd be super great. Yes, I can. I would love to buy all of them, please. All of your... I'm just gonna use all of my money on super potions. I'm gonna be using them for a while, so there we go. And I think that wraps it up, I think, for this episode of Dark Rising. If you like what you saw, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. If you don't like what you saw because it's a dumbish, dumb hack, well, then, you know, at least it's still hilarious. And you should still rate, comment, subscribe. See you later, guys. This is the Killer Nacho looking at my reflection in the water. Goodbye.